Mastering reported speech. Embracing the no change intense rule for habits and routines. Hello, English learners. Today we're going to continue our deep dive into the world of reported speech. Our focus will be the no change intense rule, and more specifically, how this applies to habits and routines. If you've been struggling with this concept, don't worry. We're here to untangle this complex part of English grammar together. Before we focus on habits and routines, let's do a quick recap of the no change in tense rule. In reported speech, we usually shift the tenses back, for example, from present to past. This is called backshifting. However, sometimes we don't change the tense. This typically occurs when the information is still relevant or true at the time of reporting. Here's a quick example to help you understand. Let's say Bob says, I like ice cream. If we want to report this, we might say, Bob said that he likes ice cream. Here, we didn't backshift, like, to, liked, because Bob's liking for ice cream is probably still true. Now, let's dive into habits and routines. These are things that happen regularly or all the time. So, when we report about habits or routines, we typically don't need to change the tense. Here's an example. Let's say Lisa says, I go to the gym every day. If we want to report this, we could say, Lisa said that she goes to the gym every day. Notice that we didn't backshift, go, to, went, because it's a routine, something that Lisa does daily. It's not just true in the past, it's true now, and likely in the future as well. Now, it's time to practice. Here are a few sentences. Try to convert them into reported speech. 1. I always brush my teeth before bed. 2. She takes her dog for a walk every evening. 3. We never miss our annual family reunion. That's all for today's lesson on the no change in tense rule in reported speech, specifically for habits and routines. We hope this has been helpful. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep applying these rules in your day-to-day -day English use. And most importantly, don't forget to have fun with your learning. See you in our next video. Happy learning!